briefing screen. Hey guys, welcome to the first set between Great, aka Hades, and Lita. It is going to be, and actually, I forget what, this is on Katrina, that's what it is. It's going to be on Katrina, which uh, I'm actually surprised this is still in the Pro League set. Looks like, oh, and right off the bat, looks like Great's going to scout straight to Lita's base. So going to get some early scouting information. Uh, I've seen Great play, I think he's more along the big macro Zerg. Uh, type play style. We'll see if he does, it does in fact go for that big uh, style. A lot of options open for Lita. I think he can see his front door. He could go that mech route. He's a very strong macro player as well, and he's been absolutely dominant in Pro League, if you're unfamiliar with him. Uh, I think he's now 8-1. and He's really clutch. He's really uh, been an absolutely huge player for OGN. And really, I feel like OGN, uh, I, I should say, I feel like Samsung initially was throwing this game away, but now realizing it, that it was the Hades, uh, I didn't realize Hades was great, but now I think this might be an interesting matchup. I think Hades might stand a slight chance, but I still got to give this game uh, to Lita overall. And I, I feel like Samsung's just... Uh, putting a little bit weak early and it uh, looks like Lita in the meantime is going to do that standard front door seal putting the supply depot up top. Yeah, for, by the way, real quick, for those of you that are watching this on YouTube later on, uh, this is being recorded live as it happens. Uh, so, uh, sucks to your Asmar, to the guy who told Diggity to not watch the games ahead of time when it was a freaking live cast. Uh, but anyway, so this is being cast live, and we're recording it live, uh, and we're going to put it on YouTube later on, so uh, and, uh, keep an eye out for more live casts in the future. In any case, uh, we've got a wall-in going on for Lita here. Yeah, you know, Lita, I, I, I saw him in some games in, I think, some, you know, Star League prelim, preliminaries or something like that, or like, you know, Round of 32 or some stuff, something like that. Last year sometime, he wasn't impressive at all. He didn't have a very good record. I didn't give him much credence at all. And this season, he has just flipping boom, exploded on the scene. He has just been playing ridiculously well lately. Um, uh, you know, he's not been playing like super elite or anything like that. But he's just been playing so solid, beating some really, really top level players um, lately. Uh, so, I mean, he's on an eight game winning streak at the moment. Eight games in a row, and, and not just against noobs like Lucifer's. Uh, winning streak was. Uh, he's been beating some really, really good players. Well, Lucifer was being some decent players. But anyway, point being, Lita has been basically OGN's ace. Lita is the reason why OGN is here right now. And so um, I'm expecting him to come out with a pretty early win here. If not, then OGN is probably going to be screwed in the long run because this is one of the games that they need to win uh, to have their ace take take the first game because they're, they're going to be facing, you know, uh, Jang and Fireback Hero and um, Stork later on. So they need to take this one early in order to, uh, in order, in order to t take the set, in my opinion. Fortunately for Great there, looks like he's going to go into a 3 hatch rebuild initially. Uh, but yeah, just uh, coming along, it's going to delay him by about 10-15 seconds, and things like this in, in key matches like this at this level uh, can be the difference between victory and defeat. And right there, put out his drone to put it down. It's in an off position. It's not the position he really wanted it to. It's not going to affect him terribly much, but it is kind of a mental boost, I think, uh, for Lita, basically able to stop that uh, extra hatchery. He's already got those minerals mined in the meantime, so you can use that return mineral check uh, to get that SEV back when he needs it. Mining gas immediately, so it looks like we are going to... I'm suspecting mech here because he's got that gas up. I don't see an engineering bay down or a second uh, barracks at this point, so I'm expecting to see some sort of mech build. Uh, yeah, let's see what he looks like. He's got an SEV ready to put down. Factory! Good call, good call. I guess he could theoretically still be going for um, you know, a uh, mass science vessel build or something like that, but the fact that he's got that marine over there specifically warding off the overlord from getting into his base leads me to believe that he's probably going to be trying to do something tricky as well. Uh, we'll have to see. He's already been a little bit tricky uh, in the fact that he moved his SCV kind of out to the corner to... I, I don't know if you guys noticed that. I actually didn't notice that at first. Uh, he moved his up, SCV up to the right so that the Overlord was going to try and come in there and peek at his base and then leave. He could, he could spot out the Overlord and know where he was. But uh, in any case, a few Zerglings coming out here. Zerglings pretty pointless at this point. Um, you know, he's got the wall in and everything. He's got a couple Marines behind there. But uh, he needs those Zerglings so he can just kind of scout the front door, see what's going on there. He has produced four Marines, but he stopped producing those Marines. So again, that again is looking like it's going to be some sort of mech build. Lair going up now, so I think he's definitely going to be able to have... No, Starport going down! 
Start for going down, we could see some, see some kind of uh, race build. Uh, possibly, we've seen um, Lomo have a lot of success with uh, with uh, quick race builds. Now, um, uh, sorry, what's his name? Hades is he sees that barracks, so he knows that Lita isn't producing a lot of reeds, so he's gonna suspect something else up here. But he's just going for a normal. No, he's got the Hydra's Den going down there, so uh, he he's responding with a kind of unusual build of his own. He's got the actually never mind. There's the spire, so he does have the spire going up. We'll see if he goes for the mutilists or if he um, uh, tries to predict what's going on and do something different. He might be going for a contain. I have only one starport at this point. Engineer Bang going uh, down alongside. So my guess is we're going to see some harassment drops. There's a vulture out, interestingly enough, to maybe do a little bit of harass. There's the control tower down. We'll see if the science facility goes down. So if we're going to be seeing the quick, uh, si yeah, there's a the science facility now. So whether we're going to, it looks like we're going to see a rapid science facility. And it looks like, oh man, uh, that's a lot of zerglings. And uh, Lee just got to be very careful right now in defense of this attack. Uh, if he goes for that, that's why that vulture's out right there. He needs to be very careful because it's a lot of zerglings. He needs to get those Marines down near that map artifact, in my opinion, because otherwise uh, Hades might be able to take that map artifact, bust it open, especially if you uh, put some Mutalisks alongside as a distractionary attack. Compsat going up. Keep in mind, Lita's completely in the dark at this stage. Looks like he's upgrading uh, either range or Stimpak, probably range at this point, to be with Mutalisks. Uh, but yeah, keep in mind, he's completely in the dark. He has no idea what's going on. Uh, and there's the Spire finish now. We'll see if, it, yeah, there's some Mutalisks morphing right now. So six Mutalisks, and I think this is this is all in for Hades right here. Hades is going to go with a Mutalisk attack on the back there, try to open up that map artifact and stream the Zerglings in. Uh, and I don't know if Lita has enough to really uh, get it done. I think Lita senses this. He's trying to get that bunker up. He's also got those turrets going up in the background. And just in case, Hades is going to put down that third expansion. In the meantime, get that, uh, probably go for a gas expansion, get that third gas, and go to Hive. That's been very popular. In the meantime, the science missile is going to be out, but I don't think it's going to have a radiate. Uh, it's not going to have enough for an irradiate to pop out to deal with these Mulisks. Yeah, now the Mulisks coming out here, he's got that bunker position, and he can throw all of his SCVs on that bunker if necessary, but he just does not have a lot of forces around. He's been only on one barracks, he hasn't been putting that much out yet. He's just his, his vulture out. Now, uh, Hades going in here, uh, doing a little bit of an attack and falling back uh, pretty quickly. The science vessel's out. It looks like Irradiate is finished. He may have an Irradiate already. That may have been Lita's plan all along, is to get extremely fast Irradiate. Um, now he's putting down more bunker, bunkers. We'll see if he can get an, if he can get an Irradiate off on that group of Mutalisks before those Mutalisks can do any damage. That will be absolutely huge. But in the meantime, there is that risk of those Zerglings on the front door there. Um, they're just way Waiting, waiting to see if um, uh, Lita lets his guard down. In the meantime, Lita also getting out some uh, uh, hydralisks. So, I mean, we saw him put down that that hydralisk den very early. So he could have been he could have been thinking about teching quickly as well. He could have. Um, Lurker aspect uh, upgraded, uh, well, maybe even already actually. If not, he's going to have it upgraded pretty soon. The fact that he has that Hydra's out makes me think that he probably is at least working on it. Um, usually, you see uh, Zerg players send out a first couple Hydralisks and morph them on the ramp to their third base, which is exactly what he's doing. He's got a third base in the top left hand corner and he's sending his Hydralisks that direction. He's not doing any harassment though with his Mutalisk. He's just wasting these Mutalisk. And now he definitely has enough energy for uh, uh, one I mean, he obviously had enough energy for one Irradiate, possibly even um, getting close to a second one uh, by this point. That science has been around for a long time. And I think maybe um, Hades knows that, and that's why he hasn't gone in. But in the meantime, that's like 900 minerals and 900 gas that have done nothing. Uh, they, he hasn't accomplished anything with those Mutalisk. I think he picked off like one Marine, so uh, you know that's going to be very costly for him in the long run. Uh, having, having, I mean, look, he, he has a couple Hydralists and a couple squads of Zerglings, and that's it because he has all that money that he put into Mutalisk here. A couple scourges out for that science vessel. Even if he can pick off that science vessel, that'll turn things back in his favor. But at this point, it's looking a little bit bad for Hades, I think. Actually, I would say it's the, not the complete opposite. But right now, Hades is taking complete map control. He's got that third gas running. He's got the hive. I feel like Lita needs to do something now rather than shell up uh, just out of those two bases otherwise he's going to be facing hive tech is already up he's going to be facing uh, scourge something down the line I don't know that he's going to have or scourge depending on how you want to say it uh, yeah there's a defiler mound right now Whew. Uh, so we're going to have Dark Swarm, and there's already a Nidus Canal to help protect that upper left-hand base. Right now, uh, Hades has a lot of map control. He just doesn't have enough units to protect it. And it looks like he's going to go in, uh, go for a flank maneuver with the brilliant maneuver on his part, honestly. I have to say, uh, a pretty good game strategy, making sure uh, just leaving Lita the smallest possibility for a counterattack and knowing that it's hard to move large troops across Katrina. 
just putting lead in a very defensive position early and then uh, taking map control. He's already got that upper left hand base. He's got mobility with those Ninus Canals as well. And he's already at high tech. Uh, I think this is going to be a very dangerous combination here. Uh, and also scouting out there, killing scout. Second star part going down. You're gonna, he's going to need a lot of science whistles. But oh my goodness, a defense matrix dropship uh, out in the field. It's going to be able to get by those Scorch for sure. And uh, we'll see how much damage it can do. I think this is going to be a key moment of the game. Uh, <laughs> it's going to sneak right through. Uh, this is going to be a huge moment. How much damage can be done to this back uh, end hive? Specifically, how much gas can be stopped? Uh, and if it can get past these zerglings here, I'm not sure that's going to happen though, because it looks like there is a defiler alongside. Consume isn't upgraded yet. Now that evolution chamber getting hammered. If that evolution chamber goes down, it can be very big. Uh, medic marines, when they get up and upgrades, it can be absolutely devastating for zerg players. Zerglings just don't get it done. There is a lurker alongside, but uh, that looks like Lita is going to start backing out. He did get that evolution chamber down. And my stream is frozen. I'm going to have to switch over to mole trap real fast. Uh, my stream is frozen as well, unfortunately. Damn it, what a time for the stream to freeze, unfortunately, because uh, that was like a game-deciding moment. I, I didn't get to see what those medic marines did, but uh, uh, that's kind of what it needs to do. And you're right, uh, real quick, since we have a second while well, this is reloading, hopefully. Um, it's imp it's almost impossible for Lita to move his troops all the way across the map to that expansion, basically. Um, I guess that's kind of why he was shelling up at his front door a little bit is uh, so that he could afford to move out that far, perhaps. Um, but, uh, yeah, in the meantime... Guys, I've actually got a stream up and running here, if you if you want to... <laughs> Go for it, man. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Vol taking guys, over. Guys, it's Vol here, and um, later is actually shelling Hades' base with a tank right over the ridge, and now he's actually he's actually hitting a science, science facility, which is lifted off right over the ridge so he can get vision for the tanks. Uh, and the, I think the tanks are out of range of that Nidus Canal, but wow, uh, Leda's got heaps of marines, heaps of um, troops in that, those tanks now unseaging, building more barracks back at, his, back at his home base. Looks like a vessel's just flying out, and I really love this position with Leda down at the 6 o'clock position, and Hades with an expansion down at the bottom left is, is in really cro close pro proximity for those dropships. And uh, this is amazing, just moving the, the tanks even closer, we've got another swarm going down from the defiler out near the natural expansion, and oh my god, a, a dropship heading up to the 12 o'clock uh, for later, so really great. I, I really love the, the fact that he's chosen to, for going for dropships, because earlier on I was thinking, man, dude, you need dropships to make this work. With this kind of map, you just have to have dropships, because the, the, the run distance between bases uh, is so long, and wow, uh, a, a dropship attack crowd is going well. Dropship attack successfully going down at the 12 o'clock, and he is managing to take out the space. So really fantastic play here by by later. He's he's really taking charge of this game, guys. Um, how how you, how's your stream looking? Is it uh, back up? Our stream is still. Uh, we'll let you know when it comes back. I'm gonna switch to Dom really fast. All right, I'll I'll keep the cast up and running as, as long as I can, but just just uh, yell at me if uh, or get me on MSN if uh, things are back and running. Anyway, later is uh, is just broken over those two lurkers, and it looks like he's heading straight into um, Hades' base. He's got science um, science vessels in position uh, to start uh, irradiating all those lurkers in defense at the uh, at the sunken line. But uh, this is a spore colony just fending them off. I really like that spore spore colony. They're just preventing those that vessel cloud from getting too close and uh, wiping out every single defiler in range. But later has taken out the expansion at the 12 o'clock very effectively. Uh, Hades still has that expansion at the top left, and now it looks like I'm heading straight into the natural of Hades. And there are very few units in defense. Only a single lurker. Look, uh, later it's just streaming here with heaps of marines. I don't know what happened to Hades forces here. He's, he's taking out the, the main uh, hatchery. Luckily that wasn't the hatchery that uh, Hades upgraded to Hive, but just destroyed that hatchery. Going straight for the tech. Oh, this looks really bad for Hades. Uh, another defiler being irradiated. Plenty of forces in. Guys, I think uh, we're going to see later take this game uh, very early on. And wow, wow, just uh, look at his face. Look, look at Hades. Yeah. Was that Hades? Uh, and the tank's still over yep. the over the cliff there, just shelling everything that gets in range. Nothing is in range anymore of those tanks, because they've just taken everything else out. Diggity? Yep, uh, we still got a stream frozen, but wow, Lita doing exactly what he needed to do, pressing out exactly when he needed to, and also getting the dropships, uh, and again, Katrina, because it's just so difficult with the tra the troop movement, going the dropships exactly what he needed to do. And this shows why he's on a, I believe, a now a nine-game winning streak. Uh, across all of Pro League, he just comes prepared and he knows uh, what he needs to do and he gets it done. Just re playing really strong, very early, and putting GG. Uh, that's GG, guys. GG right OG there, and as expected. 
So OG in taking the first game, I believe that was a, a pretty solid prediction across the board that Lita would in fact win. Uh, and now I, can, I feel like there's a lot of pressure in game two. Uh, moving on, and I, I don't know, I still feel like Hades, I'm not going to call him a complete throwaway, but I would have expected to see someone like Stork, who's been really strong in Katrina, against a Terran player like this. Not sure if we lost Mole Trap altogether. No, I'm still here. Sorry. I, uh, yeah, I, I, my stream was kind of lagging a little bit there. I'm still trying to get it working at the moment. Anyway, we'll consult with those who in the meantime. And uh, Vol, do you have uh, some general thoughts? Just pressing right directly into the in between here. Post game wrap up. <laughs> Oh, I, I actually have a stream now, and I'm seeing Alita running into the audience and giving uh, high fives to people in the front row. <laughs> I'm pop down that in the background just in case, although I think my live stream might be working now, I'm not sure.